So we all know that the first step is adding a primer and I'm gonna be applying that onto my lid up to my brow bone and then blending that out with my finger. Next, I'm gonna use this concealer and I'm gonna place that directly onto my lid. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna work as a base, which is gonna help the eyeshadows pop out more. Going in with this gorgeous palette, I'm gonna use that pale peach color and that pale pink color, and I'm gonna blend those two colors out. And I'm gonna use this fluffy crease brush, and I'm gonna place those colors right onto my orbital bone. This is gonna work as our transition color. Going in with that same palette, I'm gonna go in with this shimmery lilac pink color and a small eyeshadow brush. But first, I'm gonna use some setting spray to dampen my brush, and this is gonna help pick up some of that product. And I'm gonna place that on just the first half of my lid. Now, I'm just gonna use some of that pastel fuchsia color, and with a firm eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna place that color onto the second portion of my eyelid. I'm just gonna use this bright pink eyeshadow and a penciled crease brush. and I'm gonna place that color directly onto my crease. I'm just gonna go back in with that pale pink peach color and a fluffy crease brush, and I'm gonna blend out any harsh lines that that bright pink eyeshadow left behind. Next, I'm gonna use that purple and black color and I'm gonna blend those colors together to create a dark purple color. And with an angled brush, I'm just gonna define my crease. I'm just going back in with that bright pink eyeshadow and that pencil crease brush and I'm gonna be placing that right onto my crease, just right on top of that defined line that we had created earlier and just blend out any harsh lines. I'm gonna use this matte white eyeshadow and a small eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna place that color directly underneath my eyebrow. This is gonna work as our highlight. Again, going back in with that matte white eyeshadow, and with an angled brush, I'm gonna place that color right into my waterline. If you're not comfortable using eyeshadows, you can definitely use an eye pencil. Going back in with that fuchsia purple color, I'm gonna go in with another angled brush and I'm gonna place that color onto the first half of my lower lash line. Then with this purple color, I'm just gonna use the same angled brush and apply that onto the second part of my lower lash line. Now I'm just going in with some liquid eyeliner and just lining my top lash line and winging it out a bit. As most of you guys know that adding eyelashes is optional, but I'm gonna use a pair of false eyelashes and I'm gonna wait for the glue to get slightly tacky, placing it into the center and then tugging onto the sides. I'm just going back in with my liquid eyeliner and just reapplying to hide any visible glue. Now I'm just gonna curl my false eyelashes in with my real lashes, and what this is gonna do is help blend all those lashes together to create a more natural look. Then adding a couple coats of my favorite mascara onto the top and bottom lashes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna use this light pink shimmery color and a small detailed concealer brush and I'm gonna place that right into my tear duct as a highlight. I'm also gonna use this copper glitter eyeliner and I'm gonna place that into my lower lash line right next to my tear duct. Now onto lips, I'm gonna use this gorgeous matte nude lipstick and I'm gonna place that directly onto my lips. And to add a bit of shine, I'm gonna go in with this lip palette and I'm gonna use that light pink and that medium tone pink. I'm gonna mix those two colors together and I'm gonna use a small lip brush and place that right on top of that lipstick. And there you have it, the look is complete. All products and information will be listed down below into the description box. I wanna thank you guys all so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.